Hey guys, Bing here. Today uh, we're going to model this uh, bifurcated staircase. So from ground level, go up and then do a both direction. So first, create a uh, project. Under architecture, <coughs> stairs, and then ground. So I'm going to change the width to one. 0.5 meter. So I'll have 11 risers. Okay. So the next next I'm going to change it to one meter, and then another round here, about here. Okay. So if you go to 3D view, so you can see this is this is stairs. Is complete, but we need it to go this direction as well. So go back to floor plan, click on this round mirror, click on this line. So if I go back to 3D view again, so you can see it's almost it's almost finished, except so that we're missing that line there. So what we can do is Select this landing, convert, and uh, edit sketch. So select this long path, mirror. Okay. So if you okay, so we have this stairs. So now what we need to do is we need uh, change. We need to change this uh, profile. So make. It a curve instead of a straight line. So edit this. Click on this uh, run. Convert. Close. Edit sketch. So it's easier to go to floor plan. So go to floor plan. So and then we need to draw a uh, arc. So from this point, roughly maybe here, and. Uh, Lead straight on, use the, this trim and extend. Okay, so let me check. Go straight to view. So, okay. So now let's go back, edit the sketch, and uh, mirror this. And do the trims. Oops. Okay. So now this is something interesting. Um, the stairs go the other direction. So I'm not sure why. Uh, if I click on flip. They also flip these two rounds, so this is not what we're looking for. Um, I I can't find any way to simply change the direction, but uh, the only way I found is I need to rotate this whole uh, round. So rotate the sketch of this round, rotate it by 180 degrees. And then if I so, and then we need to um, edit sketch. So, so here I'm going to pick this edge of so I know where it is, and then I also want to match this with. So I just draw along here, and uh, if I if I redo the boundary. It will go back to the other direction again. So I have to use this boundary. So I'm going to just move this to here and then rotate RO space, click here, here, and here. Okay, and I'll do the same. So select these two mirror. Copy to the other side, select this boundary, 
move to here then RO space click here here and here so now delete this extra noise and then trim this back and now the stair is correct so I I only found this way to make it correct so if you if you if you if you find some like easier way please let me know okay so now if I check to finish so you can see a rabbit automatic create this rating which is okay and uh, so then let's have a look pretend that's a um, if I go back to the image so you can see maybe we have a, a like a, a corridor or some there and then we want to continue the rating so see how it, so if we go to level one and then I'm going to draw some floor here so like here and also uh, check mirror the other side so so we have two uh, floor here so we want to continue the rating so just select this rating edit path pick line pick this line trim and OK so you can see the rating automatic go up and then continues let's do it on this side on this one so edit path pick line so sometimes you can just pick this line and trim it so in this case you can say it works just fine but if it doesn't work sometimes it, it won't work so what you need to do is just edit path instead of just trim it to continue this line to here so I'll, I'll pick this one first so you can see that's a gap there instead of trim them you just pick this line so this so you will have at the stop bricks here and it helps sometimes it will help to the uh, so in this case see um, here you will have some like a corner corner balustrade something that in here it will be con continue but I'll just leave it and then let's let's try this edit path pick trim so well done yep so um, that's it so if you have any question or if if you found it um, a better method to flip these stairs just let me know um, okay so I'll see you next time